Hello, hello, hello. What a beautiful day. I am in the bird hide at Fountains Abbey. This is gorgeous. I would happily have this as my little living hut thing. <laughs> I don't know, imagine. So yeah, welcome to Olivia's Sanctuary. Here we are again. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, so many birds. I just love getting everywhere to myself. <laughs> so much fun. Hello. Such a beautiful place. Right, we're gonna head to the Abbey. Off we go. <laughs> Look at this. Gosh, this is so exciting. It's so exciting. <laughs> but it was a good drive here as well. Some good tunes. I was really giving myself the self-talk that you ought to have. I've realised, I've been learning this anyway, but I really, really, really realised that even if you talk about something in the past that doesn't feel good or, is a, you know, a bad memory or something that you are confirming about yourself previously, that brings about the feelings of that thing and it's really not nice. So, I did this, I'm in the car and I was just like, I was saying something, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say what I said, but I'm gonna say, I was basically talking about how much I didn't love myself. And um, I mean, this is just with me in the car. I just have conversations. And then I was like, what are you doing? I was like, what are you doing? You don't feel nice right now. And what's the po point in that? Like, it's not nice to not feel nice. So then I was like, but I love myself now. So I was like, okay, I love myself. I love myself now and that's all that matters. And I kept saying it and I got myself so happy, so excited, so full of love. And I was like, that's all I need to do. That's all I need to do every single time. It's so simple. All right, I'm here. I'm, I'm at Fountains Abbey and it is incredible. Like, I mean, I love Kirkstall Abbey. If you guys have seen one of my other videos where I am, um, at Kirkstall Abbey and I'm just saying how much I love it. I, I dribble when I get so excited about places. <laughs> it's hilarious. Look at these cool rocks. So cool. But yeah, this is amazing. I mean, it's so big. Oh, just the way the nature's growing into and out of it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take in the exterior before I go into the interior. Um, it's a lot quieter out here as well. There's actually nobody on the path I'm on. And when I want to meet someone, I'll, I'll meet them, which always happens. Um, but I just, oh, look, look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so impressed right now, I can't believe it. Oh, I can, but I can't. Oh, it's so good. Mmm, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Gosh, this place really takes it to a whole new level. Oh, gosh, it's so beautiful. There's so many ruins, like, they really do just cover the area. Um, and just look at the scenes, I mean, the peace and the beauty of this place is absolutely breathtaking. Even just this one rock, I mean, this is obviously part of the ruins as well, but just so good. <laughs> it's all so good. It's so bloody good. The kids are having fun. So good. Loving life. <laughs> The monks that came here were from York and they wanted to have like a more peaceful way of life. So they came here. Hi. <laughs> they got they got labelled the white monks because of the, the gowns that they wore. Uh, they were undyed, um, which sounds quite mystical really, doesn't it? The white monks. The white monks of Fountains Abbey. It's really cool. Look at all this. Hope you guys can see it clearly. Incredible, really. I don't 
don't think I've ever been to a more beautifully um, preserved place. Um, you've got the water that flows into the ponds that stretch all the way along. Um, and this tunnel goes through to the other side of where, <laughs> kind of scary, um, the other side of where the, the river is. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> I I'm not gonna go through because I, I um my phone is my torch and I can't see the ground. Oh no, actually I kind of can see the ground. Let's just go through to the other side. Oh yeah, you can see the light at the other side, the light at the end of the tunnel. Can we see? There you go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome, right? That speaks volumes. <laughs> it speaks volumes to me. <laughs> Well, truly, the light at the end of the tunnel. It's gorgeous. And that's another tunnel there. And another. Oh, and okay, I'm going inside, inside, inside. It's pretty cool. Can you imagine what life would have been like? It's so insane. I'm just in this room, like, full on room. There's uh, broken beer bottles everywhere, um, which is some people got in overnight. Oh gosh, it's just incredible. It's hard to actually put into words how beautiful it is. Yeah, like, listen to how echoey it is. And these walls are solid and the floor as well. Look at this floor. And actually these same tiles were at Kirk's the Labby, but there's only very small remnants of them. But this, oh gosh, I can't even. Like it gives me waves of butterflies, like just how old these, this place is, but yet like how well together it still is. The, the way it's being put together. Oh my gosh, there's writing on there. Look at that. Can you see that? It looks like old writing. That's crazy. I'm in awe. It's such a beautiful place. Oh, and then we come out here. We come out here where um, this is the entrance. As you go in and you look out onto the river and I've got this big old door, beautiful door, truly remarkable. And then we head out <laughs> and we're back to the full view of the ruins with all this gorgeous um, ivy growing up the sides as well. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Imagine people get married here. This is the altar. Yes. Oh, this is so good. So I've um, decided that I want to live here. I want to move to Fountain Valley. And I want to live here. <laughs> it's just too good. It's too beautiful. Oh, I could meditate here every day. So nice. I love it. 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 There's a big stretch of land just here, like this big stretch of grass. I'll show you in a second. And I could just have a little house in the middle of there, and then big windows, and just open up 
uh, big doors. <laughs> and then this would just be right in front. What more? What more could I want from life than that? Please. <laughs> that's it, that's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> So happy. <laughs> this is the bit that I want to live in, this middle section. <laughs> really, I do. I feel it in my belly. I just want to try and do it. I just want to build a little house in the middle. Just here. <laughs> just here. Oh, oh hello. Um, no, you can stay there. <laughs> Bugs always land on me. I don't like the bitey ones, but it's only on my cardigan. <laughs> it's so funny when I'm at the plant, plant nursery, the bees frequently land on me <laughs> to like rest or dry off. And um... <laughs> so there's a pheasant just <laughs> legging it. <laughs> yeah, the bees just land on me and I just, I just continue to work while they're on me. So like there'll be one on my shoulder, like one on my belly. On, on my clothes um but they just chill there for a while sometimes they can be on me for like you know 20 minutes and i just let them be it's just chilling hey little guy hey you okay yeah i'm just sat um next to the pond uh there's nobody here so it's really nice um, i've got a willow tree to my right and to my left um <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I'm just so happy today. I'm actually just writing down how happy I am. <laughs> Got this beautiful area in the middle. There's tons of pheasants. There's this one swan just circling. <laughs> yeah, circling the lake and the ponds. I think they're called ponds. <laughs> Please, Olivia, come on. Um, I feel like it's going to rain and I'm really excited, Ooh, really excited for there to be a downpour. Um, I've got a full like wardrobe change in my car, like that's just frequent, that's just a thing. Like I always have so many extra things in my car. I have bricks, I have, I have cleaning products, I have clothes, <laughs> quilts, <laughs> you name it. I've got it. I've got a mixing bowl. <laughs> I've got so much in my car. I'm never short of supplies. <laughs> I'm just writing about how much of a delight my happiness is. Um, and I'm, I've also got on the left a page of positive aspects of the day that I wrote this morning when I woke up because it's really good to start your day with positive things that you love and that you want to feel and think about and encourage so um i've got the sun creeping through the curtains my soft comfortable bed <laughs> that's a big one <laughs> the sound of the trees blowing outside that's before the cars start driving past best company equals me <laughs> um i do the things that i love every day wait you need to see this why is that so funny <laughs> i love it oh it's so cute oh feather there we go ah oh, back to being majestic you're a bit clumbersome there weren't you just floating along <laughs> okay my phone has finally decided to work now that i've seen all of the cool things all the monuments and tunnels i've been through them i've sat in them now my phone's working <laughs> so i'm just trekking down the hill and um i'm gonna be going back around to the abbey then i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna make some food have a candlelit dinner I'm gonna get some non-alcoholic drinks and play some beautiful music and have a romantic evening with myself